The fourth paragraph, lines 31 through 37, establishes all of the following except that Abshu had foster brothers, that the Masons maintained a clean house, how Mother Mason felt about the location of their house, what Abshu remembers most about his years with the Masons. All right, so let's figure out which of these have been established. It says, Abshu was put into a home that already had two other boys from foster care. Well, two other boys that are from foster care, those are foster brothers. And so it establishes this fact that cannot be uh, the correct answer because we're looking for the facts that were not established. It says next, the Masons lived in a small wooden bungalow on the right edge of Linden Hills, and Mother Mason insisted that they tell anybody who asked that they actually lived in Linden Hills, a more prestigious address than Summit Place. And what this is saying, prestigious means fancy or nice. Everybody thinks that it's a good part of town, but they actually live in a small place. So Mother Mason feels that her house is not a very good house. She's actually ashamed of the house that she lives in. So it establishes how Mother Mason feels. That the Mason, or, and then it continues to say, it was a home that was kept immaculate. Immaculate here means that not only is it clean, it's very, very clean. There, you couldn't notice a spot of dust even if you looked. And so we know that the Masons maintained a clean house. The only fact that is not established here is what Abshu remembered most about his years with the Masons. We simply don't know from this paragraph, so that makes the correct answer J.